I um, want to talk to you a little bit about how we manifest, and then I'm going to do a little EFT tapping the way I do it, which is similar to how Mariam does it, not quite the same. All right. There are people who they just go and they make a wish. Oh, I wish I could have this. And they think that's manifesting, but it's not. It's the first stage of manifesting. You have to go forward, like in communication with your guides, in communication with your heart, and like releasing everything that's blocking this from happening to you and, you know, or for you and going forward with like joy and ready to find your fulfillment. You have to put action with your witch. There are people I have seen, people who are really divine, who they can just wish for something and it happens. But these people who put in like years of practice, or they just have the natural ability to really connect with things and make them happen. Most of us, we have to like get ourselves to that point or to whatever point we're at. I personally feel like manifestation is also like a little bit of therapy, like a little bit of personal development practice, because we're carrying within us the blocks that are impeding our ability to get what I want, what we want. You know, I have it, we all have it. So if you go to manifest, like for me, I'll go to manifest something I desire. I will wish for it, I'll connect with my guides, I'll connect with my ego, my heart, my whole being, my fantasy. And I'm like, I would like this or whatever is of this similar vision, the similar emotional frequency that will bring, you know, this joy or more into my life. And um, then I'll start getting messages like, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. It may be about releasing certain things from my heart. It may be about um, increasing certain activities, doing certain things, you know. And sometimes I get messages, you know, offer this to people or release this from your life. Or instead of doing this practice, do that practice. Or, you know, like, I'll get information and I keep going forward with the manifesting, with receiving the information, communicating, working on it. And in the process, I will learn to get rid of things within myself or release that block me from having the full faith that what I desire can be my living reality. And uh, so it's kind of like therapy in a way. If nothing else comes of it, I have a lighter persona going forward with greater joy and faith with my daily life. Um, so whew. that is, you know, and if that is like something that makes you happy, then everything else is even better. Like, even if you don't get what you're asking for, you're getting more joy in your daily life. And that alone is worth the practice of manifesting. But generally, like we saw last week, I got my Aurora Borealis. I got to photograph a shooting star. Um, I got that really cool view of the sun and the moon both setting at the exact same time on either side of Silver Mountain. I mean, you know, cool, wonderful things were brought into my life and I was aware of them and participating with them. It had no effect on my, you know, greater desire for life, but it made me so happy, feeling so good about how manifestation can be part of my life, that then when I think of the bigger things that I want that will affect my life, I don't feel like, oh, if only I could manifest it, but I don't know, I don't have faith. Well, instead, I'm like, well, I know I can it's just a matter of how do I do it? A whole different shift in my internal dynamic. So today I am going to show you how I do tapping. It's similar to how Mariam does tapping. And she is much better at this than I am. She's like 
fully studied and everything, I'm, I'll admit I'm a little, you know, half-assed about it. I used to, at my wellness center, I had this woman, Katie, who was amazing at tapping. She led a lot of EFT events at my place. So my formal practice is just hanging out and tapping with Katie while she did it. But she's the one who tapped my dream man into my life. So <laughs> I've seen her like EFT and amazing stuff. So it's, again, similar to Mariam's. Um, we'll go through the whole process three times, starting here. And then um, when I do it with, the way I do it is we start with our karate chop. Actually, no, that's not true. We start with the top of our head because I'm a big fan of opening up the crown. And then we go to the karate chop. And then we go to the points here, here on the outside of the eyes, at the top of the bony part beneath the eyes. Don't get too close to, I'm not, oh, I might be a little bit in the shade. Don't get too close to your actual eyes. You never want to get too close to your actual eyes. It's the bony part on either side and the bony part at the bottom near the nasal passage. And then here in the little ridge under the center of your nose, or I generally do three fingers. So it's at the ridge and either side. And then under the center of your lip in the little cleft area, under the collarbones. And then I also do the heart. And then the, uh, the bra line area. Now, Mariam just does one point like this or this. If I do one hand, I go back and forth, or I'm more likely to use the karate chop area to do each other. And when I do the bra line, I give myself a hug and I do both. Not necessary, that's just how I do it. I like to use both hands at once. Um, now, part of the tapping is, of course, about acknowledging and releasing the internal blocks. So we're going to be doing a few um, statements about our fears and our acknowledgments of them and our understanding that they're nothing more than just repressing emotions, not reality. So... What do we want to EFT in today? Laughter. Let's bring laughter into our lives because today we're working on a technique and I think every person can enjoy laughter, moments of laughter in your day. So here we go. Give yourself a moment to sort of get your energy flowing. Invite your radiance to fluff up and flow out. And as always, we like to open our crown chakra so that our guides can, you know, come in and open our root chakra so that we're not getting stuck anywhere. Everything that's flowing in is flowing through and out and emanating out because our flowing energy helps to make things happen. We're connecting with what we want out there. All right. And let's start by opening the tops of our heads. And again, you can do one-handed or two-handed. And if you have any areas around your head that feel like they're pockets of tension, you know, acknowledge them. Give them permission to release. And you can sort of tap all around your head the first time round. And then we go towards this top area. Tap gently. <laughs> Say, okay, today I invite laughter. Moments of joy, moments of laughter, moments of happiness into my life, into my day. I invite to the chopping point, I invite laughter into my day. 
I invite joy into my day. Even though these days are pretty serious and I don't know, I don't really know if I really deserve to be happy when there's like so much serious stuff that I got to deal with. And then up here to the inside of the eyebrows. I mean, I know I got a lot of heavy stuff to deal with and it's serious and it shouldn't be just taken lightly. And really, do I deserve to be happy? Oh, do I actually deserve it then outside of the eyes? Yes, I do deserve it. I absolutely deserve it. Everyone deserves to laugh. Everyone deserves to be happy. Under here, under your eyes, it doesn't make any difference to the world if I'm miserable or happy. The only person it really affects is myself. Under the nose, if I want to be happy, I can be happy. There's no reason I can't be happy. There's no reason I can't laugh. Under your chin, there is nothing wrong with my feeling happy, should I wish it. Under your collarbones, there's nothing wrong with it. Therefore, it must be right. And if it's right for me to be happy, if it's right for me to have moments of joy in my life, then I may as well. And then right over your heart chakra. Why can't I? There's nothing holding me back from having fun. There's nothing holding me back from being happy. The karate chop. When I am happy, when I have moments to laugh, then my spirit lightens up and it helps me to help others. It helps me to help myself. It makes the day more tolerable and it makes me so much more functional. Top of your head. It is my right to have fun. Wow. It's my right to have fun. I wonder what else is it my right to have? Your eyebrows? Is it also my right to feel love? To appreciate and value myself? Outside of your eyes? If I am having moments of joy and laughter in my day, is it easier for me to feel good about myself? to have a functional, actual, positive self-esteem, to be more functional in my day and enjoy my life under your eyes? Yes. I think that if I can laugh and have fun, then every aspect of my day is more functional and positive under your nose. So I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have fun and I'm going to laugh and I'm going to see all the good effects that brings into my life. Under your chin, your lips. Laughter is the best medicine. So I'm going to give myself a good dose of this best medicine. Under your collarbones, laughter is the best medicine. And I am going to drink deeply of this good medicine and laugh a lot. I invite joyous events into my day to fill me with the good medicine. Your heart chakra, I am going to drink deeply of the good medicine and invite moments of joy, humor, and laughter into my day. Karate chop, I invite joy and laughter into my day. Top of your head, I invite joy and laughter to come into my day and fill me completely 
the inside of your eyebrows. I invite moments of joy, humor, and laughter to come visit with me today. Fill me up and spill out of me so that whoever comes near me is feeling joy and laughter. Outside of your eyes, I invite joy and laughter to fill me so much that it is infectious. And I am spreading joy and laughter to those around me and to the world. Under your eyes, I look forward to sharing joy and laughter that flows into me and emanates from me. So that those I love, those that connect with me feel so happy. Under your nose, I so look forward to finding and receiving happy, joyous moments all throughout my day and having this energy just spill out from me to anyone who looks forward to having a good laugh. Under your lip, I look forward to sharing joy and laughter. I look forward to experiencing, flowing with, and sharing joy, humor, laughter, fun. And your collarbones, universe, dimensions, guides, the world. Bring your joy, your humor, your laughter to me, and I will enjoy it, magnify it, and pass it along your heart chakra. Today, I am going to fill myself with joy and share the joy. Oh, it's going to be a good, happy day filled with laughter and joy. Pressing on your heart chakra. Ooh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Undo the bra line if you like. Give yourself a big hug. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think honestly, Katie did the heart chakra instead of the bra line. So that's just the way I naturally do it. Uh, but you can do either. You can do both. So this is our tapping today, the haphazard way Benita taps. And I hope that each of you has a day filled with joy and laughter, moments of humor, and an absolutely wonderful time. See you all tomorrow. Thank you. And